So what can we do to get ready for just about anything? One of the people that was trying to figure that out was a guy named Dave Castro. And it's an honor to have him here with us tonight to talk about his experiences and lessons learned. Dave, thanks for coming out, man. Chaco, thanks a lot for having me. It's an honor. What's up, boys? You're getting it, huh? I'm getting after it. Right on, man. Yeah, so this is the, this is what we built in our in our gym. I think one of the reasons that CrossFit appealed to me in the beginning was in my old job. You have to be good at the various things. You have to be able to climb a rope. You have to be able to carry weight. And at the same time, you've also got to be able to sprint very quick. So there's all these varied physical things that you have to do in that job. Well, what we ended up doing, we would combine these things. And CrossFit actually started doing this in a methodical way. And so when I saw it, it totally made sense to me out of the gate. CrossFit is a gateway to fitness for so many people. Your premise is, it's not a sport. Yeah, no, a sport it's has not. rules. Yep. It's actually fascinating because athletes and professional athletes specifically, the demands of their sport and their job are so clearly defined. You take a fighter where they have great conditioning and they're great athletes, the, what they have to train for is in a box. They understand three minute rounds, or five minute rounds, one minute rest. And within that, they have to be incredibly capable, obviously, but they don't need to train for five hours or they don't need to train for 48 hours out there. Because what we're training for, you have no idea what you're up against. The demands of a soldier, the demands of a warrior are everything and anything. So, you got a little combo of everything here, right? You start out with the machine, you're gonna go 21 calories on the echo bike. Then everybody loves burpees. Very like, if you think of CrossFit, people think of burpees, right? Um, and the same thing goes for thrusters. But then you throw the rope climb in, so you add a little skill work and a little bit of pulling. It's five rounds total, but you get a little, little break to keep the intensity higher. It's all about not getting complacent in life, right? Like, I'm done competing, so I could just, you know, sit on my butt, reflect on when I was super fit, or I can keep pushing myself every day. I got a two-year-old daughter. When she's 15, 16, 17, I wanna be chasing her around and I wanna coach all her sports. Like, shoot, maybe she'll wanna do CrossFit someday. Like, I don't know. But if I just sit around on my butt all day, I'm never gonna have that opportunity. That'll be taken away from me. It's good for fundamental physical preparedness in life. If you can push through these strenuous workouts, it's gonna allow you to push yourself, not just physically, but it's gonna help your mental discipline in everything that you do. You push yourself every day in here when you train. And a lot of times, stuff outside the gym starts to happen. You know, things get easier. Things that used to seem really hard don't seem as hard, so. Ooh. I'm very sweaty. No fat dads. Um, we got this little collab going, I guess, Jocko Fuel and CrossFit, that's what we got going on. The, the connection was so natural, yep. right? Like. CrossFit was something that was always trying to benefit the world and make people better. And Jocko Fuel is the same thing. Like, we make supplements to make you perform better. We make protein, we make energy drinks. Like, that's what we do. And for me, it was like the perfect time to, to kind of join forces because I want you to get better. I want you to go to the gym. I want you to eat clean. That's what I want you to do. I think Dave wants you to do the same thing. <laughs> you got a lot going on. We got a lot going on, man. Chaco say, get some. If I can get it open. 